Hey guys, what's up? JR Raymond back again at the Training Center in TurboTech in Chesterfield, Michigan. A little while back, uh, we talked a little bit about axis rotation, but we never went into what axis tilt was. I did make a video uh, that showed you exactly what axis tilt was and what the difference between axis tilt and axis rotation is, but we didn't talk about axis tilt as far as how to change it and how it affects your bowling ball and what you can do to change your hand to change your tilt. So. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit here today and try to figure out a few different hand positions that just may help you, so stay tuned. So if you remember correctly, we talked about axis rotation. A while back, we talked about with this ball, we had the knobs on the side, and we used those to show axis rotation. So axis rotation, we were talking about the change left to right that those knobs make. If this is your axis, uh, axis tilt is the exact opposite of what that is. So instead of going left to right with your axis, which is axis rotation, now we're talking about going up and down with your axis, and that is your axis tilt. So in order to change these types of things, we obviously have to, if this is zero, we have to make some different hand positions in order to get those get your tilt to change. So this is why playing the inside part of the ball is so important. If my hand's on the inside part of the ball, which it's not right now, it's just straight up the back. If I turn my hand to the inside part of the ball, what happens with my axis? Now the axis actually goes up. So that is higher axis tilt. And then we can go this way, which creates axis rotation. So by being the inside and rotating to the outside, you can create a higher axis tilt as well as manipulate your axis rotation. Now the difficult thing is, when people release the ball, even when they're on the outside, they rotate and they bring their tilt down and then they rotate. So the people who have a higher axis tilt, they don't rotate as quick and they keep their hand in that position and they roll it off their hand with the axis tilt staying higher. So if we take a back view, let me turn around here. If you take a back view with my axis rotation and everything, if this is zero, zero on both axis ro rotation and axis tilt, we would be bringing it up. This is going probably 15 degrees, like 30 degrees, 45 degrees. As you go up with that axis tilt here, it's going to make a big difference on how far the ball gets down the lane. So when we're talking about axis tilt, which is this, your tilt going up means uh, your ball's going to push through the front a whole lot easier. So the higher the axis tilt, the further down lane, the ball's gonna react before it sees friction. Um, and the reason for that is because as your axis tilt goes up, less of the ball is being covered in the oil. So less bowling ball cover sees the oil. And I'll see if I can find an illustration of some sort that can show this to you. But the traction marks uh, start to get a little bit further away from the thumb and start to be a little bit smaller on the ball. So as tilt goes up, it's more like this. Your, uh, this much of the ball is being touched on the lane. Whereas your tilt goes down, and all of a sudden it spreads out. The, higher, the lower your tilt, the more you have that spread uh, ring and the more friction you're going to see earlier on the lane. So the higher your tilt, the less friction you're going to see early and you're going to see the more violent reaction down lane. And then your rotation obviously determines how quick off of that uh, dry the ball is going to react compared to um, you know, when it actually reacts based on the tilt. So in order to change hand positions and stuff, we're talking here, again, we're gonna look at the clock. So if my hand's at zero, um, when we talked about axis or axis rotation, we talked about getting our hand just in different positions at the release to be able to change that rotation and get this close. So this is 90 degrees, probably 45 degrees, and then zero, okay? Now the rotation, in order to change tilt, we have to get our fingers to the inside and we have to keep them there and then rotate through the ball up here with the ball still tilted up and not going down with the tilt and then rotating with the fingers where the tilt's down. That's where we cause problems. And those are the ones where you see where they roll over the thumb and the fingers. So the next time you're practicing, maybe sit at the line and think about just having the ball in your hand like this and then just trying to release the ball and rotate through it with different axis points. So you're gonna have to go see my other video on how to find your positive axis point put a piece of tape on your positive axis point and kind of gauge this because it'll that piece of tape will play as if that is your knob that I have right here. So you can kind of gauge where that's at based on how it's rolling. The higher that knob is up here, the higher your tilt, okay? And the closer you see it towards you 
If you can see the knob closer to you, then that's the higher rotation you have. So remember those things when you're going into play, uh, when you're going into practice and trying to change these things a little bit. So now we know a little bit about what axis rotation is versus axis tilt. Um, I have to give you a disclaimer here. Axis tilt is probably the hardest thing, and no, not probably, it is the hardest thing to change. And because, especially for those who have their thumb in it, because your thumb will only allow the ball to turn uh, so many ways uh, because it restricts where your hand can actually go. Whereas like in my two-hander video you saw, uh, the advantage that they have is they don't have a thumb in it, so they can kind of manipulate, like uh, they can manipulate their tilt a whole lot more. So they can go here and then they can hold the ball and look how I can get that knob facing basically almost the other way by holding the ball like that and getting it to go directly up in the air. I mean, that's just kind of incredible. Whereas with my thumb in the ball, I can only go to like right there. And then releasing the ball right there is very difficult because you still have to clear the thumb. So axis tilt and axis rotation play a really, really big part in this game. And in not, unless you have a good understanding of it, you really aren't going to be able to change those things very quick and easy. And don't get confused. Axis rotation and axis tilt really don't change a whole lot of where your positive axis is. Your positive axis is pretty much your positive axis. It may change slightly, you know, within less than an inch, but it's not going to change huge numbers. You're not going to see your track start to move in crazy ways. Um, if it does, that's just because your hand is releasing at a different point. So you need to find your positive axis and then go and practice these things and see if it helps. You never know. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Go subscribe to Turbo 2-in-1 Grips page as well. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Take care, guys.